welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Today, we're going to dive into beautifully helping you get ready for the all of the energies that are coming your way. There's the past and everything that you have in your life currently, ha you have and you wanted because it, there was something in your past, anything you look around in my home, it is a living energy that shares something that I valued in the past. Everything you have is from the past. Everything that you will have, everything that you are generating and creating is based on how and who you're being. Years ago, before I walked down the aisle with my husband and took vows, and it's so beautiful, Greg and I um, created our own vows, vows, and we've renewed them several times because when we walked down the aisle the first time, we made a decision to be husband and wife. And walking back from that aisle, once it was declared by the holy person and declared in our hearts and the vows that we wrote out, we then went about the business of becoming and holding all the vows that we had taken, all of the decisions that we made. And when you look at the word decision, right? D E decision, um, it's decide has the same root words as to kill, right? Um, homicide, to kill another human, um, insecticide, to kill us, um, or suicide. Same root words, decide. We, Greg and I, decided to walk down the aisle and have these vows on who we were going to be in the future. And so everything that we were doing in the current moment was based on that decision of who were we going to be. And incredibly, most of what you're doing, most of how you're being, most of the vows that you have with yourself, you made before the age of reason. It's quite incredible. Before you knew what you were doing, that you were had an ego or an id or a, a super ego for looking at it through uh, Freud's lens or young before the archetype truly set in. And before, if we are looking at you before the age of seven, for many of you, it was in the uterus. For many of us, it's multiple generations. Who we were going to be was decided in the proteins that are being created inside your body. Before the age of seven, you were in theta and delta and these lower brain waves to allow you to be able to heal, to be, to survive in the, the community that you were in. All of the things that your parents did and your grandparents and your great grandparents, all of that energy, emotions, language, words, all of their possibilities got passed down forward to you. And at the age of seven, you went about the business of moving life, your life and all life forward based on the formulas, the formulas the, the ideas, the beliefs, the programming that your parents had and your great-grandparents had and that you had and the television had and society had. And at some point in your life, 
you may have recognized it's not working. Your finances are not where you want them to be possibly. Your relationships or your health. Wow, when that happens, it's a wake up call, right? You're living in this program that was designed by your body, by the environment outside of you. And this wake up call can be tiny, right? It can be something, uh, a whisper in college, uh, an idea, something that you feel that that call, that knowing, that wake up can happen but for many people that have no trauma in their background is a small, still voice, a knowing, a pursuit. My youngest sister, I only have one sister, so I don't know why I add the est, my, because my family, my mom, adopts everyone that I, that I bring home just about. She says, oh gosh, you're going to be my other daughter. So my youngest biological sister knew from a young age she wanted to be a doctor. She shifted. She did everything to make sure that that happened. She had attachment to me, to my older brother, um, with whatever went on with my parents, whatever went on with my younger brothers. She knew we were there to support her. And so the attachment her dreams came true. She heard that calling. You may have heard your calling. You may not have heard it yet. You may be in the place where you're waiting for the universe to initiate and activate you. When you've been initiated and activated into your miracle making frequency, oh my gosh, you can trust your own knowing. You begin magnetizing everything into your environment based on what it is that you're choosing to be. You then wind up doing the high value things in your life. What you're doing creates what you're having. What you're doing is created by who you're being. And how do you choose who you're going to be in this current moment? How do you choose that? Do you choose that mentally? Oh my gosh, 95% of you is subconscious, unconscious, not, you might think, I'm going to drink eight glasses of water. I'm going to avoid all of the carbs. I'm going to, and then 95% of you, the rest of your body, you have the thought, but 95% of you doesn't reach for the water glass may pick up the carbs, <laughs> may wind up saying the exact thing in your relationships that you don't want to say. The, uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. But how, how do you get a new result? When you have the same body all the time, 95% of you is the same subconscious mind. How do you do that? And that subconscious mind and the really big programs that your family was running or that were run on you before the age of reason, you don't know you can choose differently, behave differently differently unless you have these moments, transcendent moments, or you meet with and experience something different. Let me say that another way. 
you are one of those hidden cultures deep in Africa, deep in South America, or deep in India. There are still peoples, peoples, right? Tribes that have not been discovered. And tribes, images that come in and these tribes that see helicopters for the first time. They're like, wow, this group has never been tracked. They're coming out of the woods. How do they relate to helicopter that is filming them and photographing them? Right? You've got that experience in certain places in your life. The places that you are stuck. It's like a helicopter circles around and those people on the ground, right, feel uncomfortable, unsure. The world is not exactly how it was before, a defining moment. You've had those. You've had those defining moments without words. Your body has those moments, these re- defining possible experiences, sometimes on purpose. Sometimes you put yourself and your wife and, and people that you love on retreat with you. You take them out somewhere and your bodies become different because you're doing something different. This time, how do you create doing something different right where you are? How do you create that? You let yourself get uncomfortable. The helicopter in this unknown territory of you. The helicopter, unknown territory, you allow yourself to be observed. In the old world, all of, and I say old world, Pakistan, India, that I'm familiar with, Italy, the Vatican, um, anyone that is, they keep wise counsel. All the royalty that I work with, all of the teachers that come from traditions, they have someone that's teaching them and someone that they're teaching. That's a system that they put into place to really allow the best to come through. Yay, what is the best that can come through for you, right? I am so excited to share with you some of the opportunities that are coming up at um, and we were at drsarahlarson.com and to travel if you're ready to make a difference if you're ready for spiritual travel I am so excited to share with you this incredible journey that we're going on and the the best thing about this incredible journey is there's eight people, only eight that are invited to go. The other part of that journey, right? Eight people that are invited to go. And the other part of this is we are visiting a tradition, an oral tradition. It's um, of an ancient variety. Let's see if I can share the screen here so that you're able to see this. So are you ready for a reset? Are you ready for a reset? You're invited on a cultural journey into the heart of Mexico. This year, December is so extraordinary. You get to connect with your higher spiritual nature and true purpose by immersing yourself in deeply connected oral tradition of the Anahuac people of Mexico. 
It's an eight day journey that will take you into the heart of these people, not as a tourist, but as their guest. And so it's incredible. The people that are leading this journey, it's the next chapter of your life is being immersed and activated. The uh, um, Anuak culture is alive and thriving. Despite the stories, they and other Mesoamerican tribes are extinct. So, so beautifully, our group of leaders, our group of young people, our relationship capital got the wise elders, the ancestors, and the indigenous to begin to share their stories. And we are bringing eight people that are are able to hear the oral stories from the Aztecian Empire and the wisdom of the culture and their astronomy, astrology, natural medicine, ceremonial music. The Anahuac still count the days to this day. They have multiple calendars. And what's incredible is you will receive a fire initiation and be given a sacred name based on the calendar that is so uh, it's incredible numbers when you hear them share how old their calendar is and when you add in your birth date they do the astrology for you based on that wisdom the traditional elders will be our guide for our visit into um, Templo Mayor in Mexico City. It's the main temple for the Aztecs. You can read the itinerary. I'm so happy to send this to you. And let me tell you about, this is Helen Samuels, one of my best friends. I love this image right here. Modern elder. She's been on Miracle Makers several times in between now and um, the, we're going to have her on several as often as possible. And then, of course, we're going to bring Guadalupe Rinzindes, spiritual leader, amazing leader of the moon dance, grandmother. Then we've got Ricardo Cervantes. Um, we've got me. Uh, that is, I'm so excited to tie all of this well, together for so many reasons. Then Kenna Acosta, Juan Cornelia, um, Tete Capital Martinez, and um, Yvonne. And it's we have this pretty much at cost at the early bird special November 7th. If we get all of the people that we want enrolled, we're so excited. $23.77 per person um, by November 7th. And again, it, it includes all accommodations, two nights in Mexico City, three nights in Tetecoia Juan, two, three nights in Central Nurka. And if someone needs a single occupancy, just so beautifully um, join there. And of course, I'm a contact point for this. And we're so excited about the parallel travels and all of the inner work that you're ready to do that parallel travel, opening up and being able to see through the veil, this incredible world that is available to you. We'll have questions and um, it's an exciting time to be sharing about this and creating this. This is uh, literally the um, it coming through so beautifully to be able to share Wow, are you meant to be on this journey with us? Are you ready to leave this life's vows behind, right? In this life, you took the vows that you passively got before the age of seven. Of course, we'll complete that 
on the journey, the vows that you've taken since then. You'll understand why you did it all. And then that part of being in Mexico with almost a one-to-one ratio with teachers and elders and seers and knowers, you're going to have the opportunity to rename yourself, go into fire initiations, moon dance, celebrations, a name that's given to you, eternal, based on your calendar, based on the breath that you first took inside this vessel. So exciting. And we start the recording here and answer any questions that you might have.